I had I had uh, music on. Hello everyone, it's AK Wonder and Salai here on stream B. We have hot form against Kamlan. Kamlan with Reed, Shaman and Warlock, and hot form with Mage, Rogue and Warlock. So no Shaman for for hot form. Yep. Uh, as I said, I don't I didn't bring Shaman uh, for the tournament because I feel like everyone is try, trying to target the Shaman. But at the end, it's like, like it's a really, a really, shaman. yeah, it's a really, a really good class. So yeah, let's see how it goes for for hot form, and then well, we we see Ensort Rogue, which is like uh, I got meme by Ensort Rogue last last dream hack. Well, is it necessarily in his off rogue? I mean, Journey from Below. I've seen it as a one of in some non his off rogues. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. I think um, just I like think Amnesiac a, liked it for a while. Just like a combo card or what? Yeah, it enables combo. I mean, sometimes you play against... Uh, I mean, I guess in this format we're banning Warrior, but I was going to say sometimes you just pick an Uberac against a Control Warrior and win for free. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it enables combo and... Oh yeah, you can get a 5-4 sometimes. With, yeah, uh, extra Tomb Pillagers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fine. But anyway, I feel like like it's going to be Ensod, Rogue. I don't know. Hot Form likes... Like, he likes to, he likes to play, like... Weird things and so rogue is just a curious a curious deck to to bring. A uh, good start for the read actually, like um, ramping. One thing is he banned the warrior, which I think um, doesn't in his off warrior does not does not uh, in his off rogue typically want to play against warrior. I don't know. I mean maybe you want to play against control warrior. Maybe it's a little bit different when they're the control warrior is Cthune. Yeah, but what if it's like some tempo deck? Some some tempo yeah. warrior like too dangerous dragons or or just tempo one. This loot hoarder from uh, Journey is working out well since there was a wild growth. You get to punish him. Well, it's it cures well, but also it's just card draw when like rogue. I just always hit him for two. Yeah, and it and it is still there waiting to be dealt with. Mm-hmm. Uh. I expect to see like from hot form tempo mage, of course, but then I would say not so from the warlock because his lineup is should be like them. He's known as as a tempo mage player, mm -hmm. then insult rogue, and then like you need ah that's why he banned warrior. He he's playing zoo, so yeah. he does he doesn't want to to face a control warrior like yeah maybe makes it, sense it makes sense right so and then Kamlan has like. A shaman, he just has to play a mid range shaman. This druid, which is like the standard one, I would say, with Enzot, I don't know. There are a lot of uh, different changes. Well, Camlin's lineup is sort of just like the standard what you would mm -hmm. expect going into this event. It's what I and a lot of other people, players brought. Yeah, that's true. That's true. What do you think about like people not bringing Hunter right now? Um, I think we'll see it more as a fifth deck. I think Hunter is okay. It's uh, a little inconsistent with banning Warrior as part of the issue, which people seem to want to do. Yeah. So here, uh, Edwin Van Cleef, that's that's a pretty big draw. It's a little awkward because my first thought was we wanted to backstab aside this turn, but maybe mm -hmm. there are other ways to do this. Like, what if we backstab Prep Fan, Journey, you Journey first? Oof, uh, and, a, and a huge Van Cleef, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I if like they it. don't have the one of Mulch, you kind of win. Mm -hmm. If they do have the one of Mulch, you get to play a game of Hearthstone. You're not dead. Like this. Yeah, ten ten is pretty good for three mana here. Sorry, but we we want to like solve the green, the green cards on the screen, and we don't know why. It's, oh yeah, I think it's yeah. Oh, now, no. now, now we got it. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, ten ten. Um, if you are running only one mulch, you really want to have that mulch right now yep. or die trying because, like, I mean, ten per ten per turn is just too much. So you don't want to give up. All you have to do is survive till turn ten, yog, and believe, right? Uh, yeah. Or maybe if we emperor, we just have to just next turn we get the yog. So that's yeah, probably yeah. the play. Oh, that's true. That's so true. are we playing a, a spell to go with it to yes, make our Yogg a little course, better? Of course. Okay, and a 3-2 is better than some 1-1s one considering the Rogue's Dagger. Mm-hmm. And how many uh, spells um, 
play, uh, come down plate this this uh, game like four or five no no more than five. Oh, the three two is much better because the living roots is free next turn as well. Mm -hmm. So you get to play you know both the spells. So here the ten ten is going face. If you have to leave up an emperor, so be it. But it doesn't look. It looks like you just go sap as I seven agent. Seven agent. I like yeah. it. I like it. You want Interesting. Oh, he's gonna trade. Wow. So um, maybe he's expecting to sap a big taunt. Does trading play around Yogg? Is that a way of looking at it? No, I don't think so. I think it, like. I feel like it's just a, a bit weak. Miss the, ten the damage. Play. Yeah, I you mean, miss power blast the face is pretty good. Yeah, you miss ten damage, but but also your Van Cleef is now, like ready to be killed. Yeah, yeah, it could just die to that swipe living mm. so we don't have to go for the Yogg anymore. Yeah, I think I think, like going face, it was like no matter what, no matter if, if you don't if you can't kill the the Taurisan there, but ten damage is just too valuable. Mm -hmm. I guess uh, Hot Form's just in the mindset of a Nizoth Rogue where you're playing a, a longer value game okay. and once you play that Nizoth, you just okay. win. Makes and sense. so you don't have to try and smork him down. You don't have to back up damage mm -hmm. of Cold Blood yeah, and no. Conceal. That's true. I didn't play that much uh, in Sword Rogue, but, but yeah, makes sense. But now if we don't draw the Nizoth pretty soon, we, we might be in trouble here as Hot yeah. Form's Rogue because we don't have a whole lot of follow-up. Oh, that's a pretty good card. Yeah, that's all right. So now four four mana and three drop. Yeah. Or just rid of the claw, redagger. I would spend seven mana on minions this turn. Tomb pillage your SI seven eight to the face. But you lose uh, two damage from SI seven agent, like. On a minion, yeah, but. Yeah, I don't know. It, it puts more stuff in play, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, he goes for the bear. But he's like going for the same line of play, like slowly. Yeah, it's consistent with his surely. previous line of play. He's playing for value, yeah. playing for a. Uh, eventually, I'm going to play this in this off, and the druid's not going to be able to beat it. Mm -hmm. Yogg might be able to beat it. Mm -hmm. There is that potential. And now, <laughs> I could play here. Um, Yogg's pretty tempting. Yeah, yeah. Why not? You draw some cards. You clean the board. <laughs> you yeah. play sometimes Call of the Wild or, or Feral Spirit, and then you pass turn. <laughs> well, maybe the reason why not is we saw those Huxers, we read that as meaning Nazoth, and maybe we figure we need to save this Yogg as an answer to Nazoth. Okay. And playing scenarios is totally fine. It's not like we're losing here by any yeah, means. Yeah, of course. We're in, we're in good shape. Fan and Knives. Mm. It combines with the dagger to clear one of those two two. So something like Fan SI7. I think now, like, Tom Pilager, SA7 Agent, Deadly Poison is just too clean. Uh huh. I mean, if you had something like Azure Drake or Talnos, I could play Fan of Nice, but you can play next turn, maybe. I mean, you know that Jock, uh, that Druid Jock, plays a lot of. plays. Uh, play Living Roots and, and, and Violet Teacher, so. You, so your your fan of nice eventually will 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 get value. Yeah. Upstairs. Well, well power no, the no, wild. Now no, no, you can. You, now you have to do it. Uh, maybe you trade first with the five oh um, with the five um, eight to the four six scenarios, but I'm not sure. In that case. It was better, let's see. Bosh. Yeah. I mean, oh. so far, so good. Oh. That's a great start. Wow. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ooh. Yeah. Wait a minute. Uh, who cares? Nah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's fine. Oh, that's that's incredible, man. Sure. To him, to him, to him. Oh. It's fine. Nah, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, no, 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 no. So that's pretty good. Stops the sap. Oh, three, three that much. Oh. Oh, not <laughs> what we wanted. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. It's good. It's good. It was like it didn't clear, but it's um, it's good enough. Yeah. So, by not attacking first, he got five face damage. He got a card draw, but his guy's not stealthed. I'd yes. say very worth. Ve yeah. It worked course. out great in this of scenario. Of course. The dream. And it wasn't that many spells. Only like ten or so. It was enough. Oh wow. Wow. And not thought for me it's like in a bad spot because the druid like yeah. draw one card but he had already more cards than the rogue. Kinda have to sap so the scenarios doesn't keep yeah, drawing. But it's, it you wanted to so play Drake bad. looking for an Azoth, but you have to sap. Uh, but it feels so, so bad to 
to sap uh, scenarios because now like an, he can live in roots scenario plus two plus two. I want to mention Hotform's decision to not go face for 10 earlier in the game is starting to look pretty good. It looks like uh, if Camlin were at 13 instead of 23, there are other differences. Granted, it, it looks like uh, Hotform would not have the the reach to back it up. Oh, whoa, th this is... He preferred to plus two plus two instead of having two two twos. We've already seen two SI7 agents. But don't you expect an eviscerate at that point? Yeah, exactly. Ooh, That's the point the I'm making. What? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Wait a second. Uh, I mean, he has to sub in order to not die. That's correct. But he has Juxaron in in the in the deck. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> Yog everywhere, huh? Next turn, Deadly Poison coin. Pray for for it. What do you think about equipping the Deadly right oh, there? He's, he's dead. So. Oh, unlucky. Yeah, well, it, it was. Dies pretty often there. I mean, I don't understand why why Rogue is always losing. Well, not always, but it's losing more often than before against Rogue. Um, Druid is winning Rogues. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Like, see, it seems like Rogue. Without blade flurry, now is some trouble when you are when you make tokens or or a lot of minions on board, right? Yeah, rogue rogue used to be the AOE class. It, it wanted the opponent to play swarm strategies. Now not as much. Yeah, but anyway, you have sap for the big big minions. You can like keeping um, putting pressure on board, but Druid is just too good against rogue. And, and right now, I don't I don't get it. Maybe it's, it's joke fault. I don't know. Yeah, so as Druid here, I would keep that Wrath, pitch the Mulch and the Ancient of Lore, and mm -hmm. as Temple Mage, keeping Flame Waker on the coin, keeping Cult Sorcerer because it's a Druid and you want the early bodies. I think I keep everything. Yeah? Maybe not our kind of I like missiles. this. I like what he did here. Uh, I think I, pref I like Talnos because you want to coin a two drop and then play Talnos on Curve, maybe, or Talnos... I'm oh, I wanted to go turn one pass, uh, turn two Cult Sorcerer, turn three okay. Flame Waker, still have coin potential. Okay, okay, then it's, it, it seems logic to... I, I would coin 100% here. You would coin a two-drop yeah. here? And that's it's Cult Sorcerer, right? But that's why I keep uh, Talnos, I guess. But it's fine, I, I mean... The, the matchup seems to be, like, one-sided here, like, in favor of... Um, the Tempo Mage? Yes. It's hard to have a one-sided matchup against Druid, so for Temple Mage to do that is uh, maybe a strong argument for putting it in your lineup. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But anyway, it's it's just about the 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 early game because now the Druid. Ooh, this is gross. Will not be able to remove the early minions, so you can like snowball with 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 uh, sorcerers, apprentices, and and spells and blah mm -hmm. blah blah. So. So Camlin uh, chose the Mulgan the Wild Growth, or chose the Mulgan the uh, the Wrath rather, oh, and yeah, you can see true. it didn't work out very well that's for him true. this game because he didn't hit the Innervator Wild Growth or Living Roots that he was looking for. Maybe he was expecting another Freeze Mage because we saw in the mainstream some people playing Freeze Mage. Yeah, but it's hot form, you know. Yeah, this yeah, guy hit rank true, yeah, one yeah, Legend yeah, on yeah, ladder yeah. with uh, with Temple Mage when nobody was really expecting yeah. the deck. Yeah. He just plays Temple Mage all day, and and yeah. Freeze Mage is the deck that requires that's a good true. amount of practice. That's true. No way that this is not uh, Tempo Mitch. Yeah, but look at now. Now a fireball would be extremely punishing, and that is two. That's zero mana. Kill your five drop. This is insane, and you have That's another pretty Arcan good. Blast. Uh, wow, that was gross. Yeah, that's the problem. If you have a start like this, and and you're opening. Well, there's the Wild Growth, but it's not good anymore. Now it's a bad draw. No, you have to play. Uh, the Teacher. fourth draw, but but then you get punished instantly. Yeah. Well, it's gonna be easy game for Hot Farm, right? Yeah. He's a Hot Farm's smiling. You can see it on his face. He's yeah. knows he's like, yeah, this is um, this is what we call a blowout. And, and that's not a bad draw either. The mana worm. <laughs> that's why he didn't need it, but he got it. <laughs> yeah, but it, that that's why that's why he's that good with tempo mage, right? He's starting like to be. Comfortable with the deck, easy, boom, boom. Uh, yeah, boom. we're at the point where we're just emoting and laughing because we know yeah. what's up. Yeah, yeah. There, is, there aren't even innervate, innervate yog outs. That's how one sided <laughs> this game is. We, we can't even live that long. Oh, Kaplan, BM, power of the wild, plus, <laughs> plus one, plus one, concede. It's like, 
more BM than coin concede. Yeah, that was an easy game. Uh, it, feel, it feels bad for Kamlan, but it sometimes happens. Uh, so we're probably going to see Zoo here queued into the Temple Mage yes, rather than Shaman. Course, of course. If it's Zoo, oh yeah, it should be Zoo because he insta queued yeah. the Warlock. Oh. Uh, another pretty good start for Hot Form. I don't know if yeah. he's still playing the Tempo Mage with Acolytes or and without a uh, Flame Strike. Like I would guess that he's still. I've talked to him a little bit, and uh, he does not have a high opinion of Flame Strike. Okay. Last I talked to him. Okay, so 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 the problem for him is gonna be if he can't uh, go like with a decent start and and to be ahead on board early. He's not gonna be. Wow. Yeah, but this is just. This is pretty lopsided. Yeah. Zoo missed its one drop, and Temple Mage is getting there. Yeah. Which, when yeah. Zoo is playing like eight one drops, and mm -hmm. Temple Mage is playing about two, mm -hmm. <laughs> it feels kind of bad to be the Zoo player right now. Yeah, and now he's gonna like. You can see again, Hot Form smiling. He knows this is like yeah. easy. This is the dream. Easy game. Just like you. Ah, he can trade. Clean yeah, the trade. value trade is pretty good. Next turn you can draw more cards. Yeah. If you draw a card like uh, Talnos or uh, the three two that gives you plus one. Mm -hmm. um, Anything that costs two mana and is yeah, a minion. Yeah, something. It's gonna be awesome because you can play Frostbolt and the minion. Oh, this is decent, but I don't think you want to play it right now. You can play Arcane Intellect. Yeah, we could just let it hit our taunts, right? And maybe you can like Arcane Intellect, coin, trade the 4 1 into the 2 4 and ping? I really don't want to trade into the 2 4. You want I to wanna, go face? Ah, uh, yeah. I think I'm doing something like Arcane Intellect, coin, torch, face. Or maybe. Yeah, something what like that. What about Fireball, the, the 2 4? Don't you like it? I mean, you can do it. It seems like a winning line of play. Just like. I think it's. Don't let him get the board. Right? I don't know. It's just Sue. It's just Sue, yeah. It's true, like, clearing the board against Sue is pretty good. This is a good turn. Like, you can't really fault. I mean, Hot Form probably knows best here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Although, now, guessing. all of a sudden, there are some outs for Camlin with this Knife Juggler. I think now you you can go all in, because Arcane Intellect, Coin, Torch, Frostball mm -hmm. is, is a play, and then you're going to have a 7-1. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be a 17. Oh, wait, wait, you can, like... He, he's wow. playing yeah, he, too fast. He's so so confident with the deck. I understand, and that's nuts. Talnos coin. Yeah, this is a strong well, turn. He, he he have a lot of a lot of things to do. He can just uh, uh, mana win coin torch the three two and go face because he has two towns. Next turn he's gonna he's gonna or can it? I don't know. Yeah, smash everyone. Just go upstairs. Oh, so man. much damage. There's two taunts in the way. Oh, Councilman's wow. too little, too late. Now, I want to mention on the previous turn, Camelon had the option to go Knife Juggler, Flame Imp, and then he's 40% to snipe a one health minion, then he can Soul Fire the other one health minion. Mm -hmm. It feels very bad, but it potentially stops the bleeding and might okay. get him back in the in the game. This way uh, lets him play Sea Giant. Yeah, um, now, now he can play like Knife Juggler. Argent uh, Squire. First, you Argent Squire and Sea Giant before killing a th uh, Ochu. Mm -hmm. And then. You trade and soul fire. Can you do this? Two, three. Uh, the thing no, is, no, if the knife juggler can. shoots uh, a one health minion, then the sea giant costs one more, right? Oh yeah, and and also you can you can play soul fire. So maybe, um, yeah, maybe. I don't know. See, you will not play sea giant this turn. I think we sort of saw this coming on turn one when we saw how good Hot Form's hand was and Camelon missed his one yes, drop. Yes. Hearthstone's, uh, it can be an unforgiving game at times. Ooh, oh. Not the juggle you needed. He decided to not play the one mana draw. Yeah, he could have played it. He, he figured if it hits a one health minion, he can't play the Sea Giant, right? But I yeah. think you take that risk because you're so far behind. I think so. Yeah. No. Tempo Mage, man. That's why Hot Form is no four. Um, uh, the only class left for Kamlan is uh, Shaman, uh, but it's a mid-range Shaman, and usually I prefer Tempo Mage like over Shamans, like in 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 the match, because because 
it's just the same as Sue, but you don't you don't have that sticky minions mm -hmm. on the board, so it's just easier to remove everything. Obviously, you need a good start. Now he doesn't have a really really good start. He doesn't have the coin neither. We answered that question. There's that accolade pin we were we were wondering about yeah. earlier. Yeah, but it's a decent start, uh, mainly against um, against uh, shaman because you have cool sorcerer plus arcan blast on turn three. Yeah, I don't great think combo. you want to play. Uh, the cool sorcerer on turn two, if you if you have to play it alone, because right. because it's just too important to kill to kill the totem golem. Yeah, and we're usually let's see, are we gonna see coin totem golem into tunnel drog or tunnel drog into coin totem golem? I think I would play here totem golem. Well, now, yeah, yeah, you can play with against warrior. You can play against warrior. It's totem golem, but against mage, I have to think. I'm not sure. Yeah, sorry. Against mage, I think I I I would prefer the one drop here. It's just, it's usually a question about how do you trade into his two drop, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, pin the three, three. In state of phase, I like it because you have torch, so you don't have to waste your arcan blast here. But you can, actually. You can play cool sorcerer arcan blast, I like it. Yeah. You can also play torch because it's a hard uh, card to play because it costs three mana for three damage is not the dream right so you just play the turn you can and then we're sort of choosing not to develop a 3-2 on this board because it's so likely that something like feral spirits or argent horse rider is played to efficiently deal with the cult sorcerer yeah so yeah so he may play cool sorcerer and mirror image later on yeah by choosing to forgotten torch on the previous term hot, hot form neatly avoided this scenario and wow, the Flame Waker. I think I think I would play here Water Elemental. And yeah, next turn, I agree. Pff, choo, choo. Next turn, you go wild. Yeah. Because uh, it looks like Flame Waker Arcane Missiles, you get a total of five random damage. You have to hit the face zero times to clear the board. That's not likely to work. Whereas if you play the Water Elemental, it's pretty tough for Agro Shaman to trade into it effectively. And it, it you get to play two spells with the Flame Waker, a guaranteed extra two shots, plus... Yeah, it's, it's going to be a clear, probably. Even if he plays the 7-7, seven, seven, it's not a problem because you are going to clean the small minions mm -hmm. and the 7-7 seven, seven will struggle against your, your taunts. Your taunts, yeah, mirror images. So I really like yeah, to play Water Elemental. I mean, even if he plays something like Argent Squire plus uh, plus uh, the three the three spell, the two... The well, I'd be worried about Flame Waker is one card on my mind here. Or, sorry, I'd be worried about a Flame Tongue Totem, rather. Maybe the Shaman has some way to deal with Water Elemental with Flame Tongue Totem plus... But it's not a problem, right? Because Yeah, I mean, you're still okay. Uh, I don't like... Uh, because I was thinking, like, 3 damage from Water Elemental plus 7 damage from Arcana Missiles plus fl uh, f plus uh, Mirror Image mm -hmm. with Flame Walker is just too insane. It's 7 damage around the board. If you have more minions, more probability to hit them. Mm -hmm. uh, if 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 the, if the shaman has three minions, it's better for you, because less probability to go face with uh, random damage. So I don't know. I okay. think I could go water elemental, but I know hot form is just a really good player. So I'm thinking totem lightning bolt. Good turn. Is there any chance you play that abusive? No, not against uh, tempo mage. They have too many ways to arcane missiles and flame waker and and just ping. Mm -hmm. So wh why why hot form? Oh <laughs> wow! Why did for hot form play uh, this line instead of of just water elemental on cure? Maybe we can ask him after the game. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it, it was. It was a little weird because it looked like uh, on board you can trade effectively into the cult sorcerer. Yeah, but I'll say if we. Well, Doomhammer is a big pickup. I really think that's what the shaman needed to get back into this game. I was um, talking with Bowder about that matchup, mm -hmm. Tempo Mage against uh, Shaman. He said uh, the the Mage is good as soon as uh, the Shaman doesn't get the, the Doom Hammer, because when you get the Doom Hammer, how can you stop the damage or how, yeah. how can you deal with it? Yeah. No more than three turns. Yeah, when you don't have a, a big taunt, Doomhammer can be a difficult card to beat, right? Like big taunts are kind of the way to beat Doomhammer, and Tempo Mage yeah. just has none of those. Yeah. And also, you don't run, you don't run heals. You only have Frostbolt to stop uh, Doomhammer for one turn. So, I, is this the Flame Waker turn? Do we start with bumping our Water Ellie into the thing from below? Mm -hmm. 
We could start with Flame Waker missiles because if we hit the thing from below three times off that first f five shots, mm -hmm. then we just play the second missiles and try and finish off the last two on it without ever trading our Water Ellie into it. So I actually think I don't like bumping with Water Ellie first. Okay, I like it. It's like unlikely. Yeah, like but to it's kill it, but you you can try. It's you worth a shot, right? There's mm -hmm. there's very little punish. Mm -hmm. There's only w uh, one way to get punished if if you hit three times on the first and the then first. you fail two on the second. Yeah. But that's uh oh, now he's really good. Okay, he really wants to. I like okay. this. Okay, makes sense. That's good. Oh. All right, so you have to hit three that's out like of five. Fifty fifty? No. No. Almost. Oh, is it? Is it exactly 50-50? You got five shots, you have to... I mean, no, yeah, no. it's exactly 50-50. You, you had five shots. And you have to hit three out of five. Either you do or you don't hit the three yes, out of five. Yes, that, that was a 50-50. And you won the 50-50. See, because you always uh, hit two uh, to the face and two to the minion, and then the last one decides. Yeah. Decide, uh, this is a 50-50, so... So he took it. And he wins it. And he wins it. And now he's ahead on board, but yeah. also... A collide of pain behind just to draw more for cards. follow up. Yeah, it's good. To have, it's a really good card to have in hand right now. Much better than a flame strike, yeah. incidentally. Yeah, flame strike might be in trouble. Well, nah, he's still winning because this this water elemental uh, really pressures the doom hammer. These abusive sergeants are just sitting in the Camlin's hand, unable to do anything because the mirror images got in the way on the turns where the abusive sergeants would have been useful for trading into water elemental. And now hot form is able to clear the board, so there's just there's just no minion to use the abusive on. The problem now is like you are gonna freeze Shaman's face. Yep. And that's that's gonna be really bad. I think he's gonna like lava and lightning bolt. But anyway, it feels bad. It looks Spending like spending uh, all your turn killing a three six. So maybe we're in a bad enough spot to go for a one and three flame juggler here. Just try and hit that water element and, and lava burst it. Believe. Alternatively, you could go for a 1 and 4 roll spell power totem, or you could go for the safe play of Lava Burst Lightning Bolt, but it seems like that play just consistently loses you the game. Yeah, but the problem is the 33% playing the Flame Juggler is only with good when when it hits. If you don't hit, it's just a disaster. Yeah. And yeah, I don't see another play. Do you feel like you're not that far behind that you have to go for 33%? I think when you see only a, when you see only a Acolyte on board, you yeah. just say, well, let's go for the Maybe safe Maybe his play. hand's bad. I don't know. But as it turns out, Hot Form's hand is full of action, and he's, uh... Could looks to be in great shape. Flame Walker here? Apparently, You don't yes. have spells on, on your hand, so... You right. just want to... Well, it's just, it's at the tempo play, right? Um, we want to put as much pressure on him as possible so that he feels like he has to be trading with the Doomhammer and not hitting us in the face and sending yeah. up lethal. Yeah. And... and uh, I feel bad for for Kamlan because he couldn't play abusive sergeant in any turn. Yeah. Like, do you remember when I told you to play elemental instead of mm -hmm. uh, the play that on turn four, four. from did? Yeah. We we could have been punished by abusive abusive yeah. in the two one trading the three six. Yeah. And then every car will get value. So hot form, but now hot form's line managed to yeah, play around that yeah, scenario. Because because of that, uh, abuses are just useless in in the in the hand. I don't know if he's gonna be able to play it in all the game. Yeah, maybe next turn. <laughs> Who knows? Turn nine, good turn for abusives. Yeah, I mean, hot form is probably just never gonna play this yog. Just win easily without it. Doesn't look like he's gonna have to take that kind of risk this game, even though it's very no, likely no. to work when you play it. I think I prefer uh, sorcerers. Yeah, cult sorcerer, or trade ping. Yeah. Having Just clear that. Having acolyte on board is always good because, like, you will get eventually more cards. But I don't think you need more much like than yep. three, four cards on hand. Right. Right now, hot form has plenty of value in hand, so he's just looking to play for tempo. He just wants to get as far ahead on board as possible, protect his life total, pressure. Pressure Camlin's life total. Abusives well, are okay here. You can play one, trade the 4 3 in the 4 4. Yeah. Clean everything with the Doom Hammer. Hammer. Taking 7 down to 9. It will be 9. It's fine. Yeah, you are not happy, but you have to do it, right? It seems right. 
and then you play everything. Or you can you can also. If we go all face, we have what six, ten, fifteen. We're eight off. It's not very close. Even the max draw from one damage is six damage from a rock biter. So just. You can also lava burst the four four. Okay. And then what's the abusive doing? Take. Go in face. I think you go face lava burst and you trade one minion instead of. I like this. It's like yeah, I'm about to lose so. I just take the risk, but mm -hmm. I, I am now ahead on board. So, but now, Jixaron is gonna do some work. Or maybe not. Maybe Yogg's are on suicides with two power blasts to your own face. Wow, it doesn't he like doesn't even here. want to play it. So now, for him to play Mandalorian before Arc and Intellect means for sure there's no flame strikes in his list. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Acolyte pin a, and ping a 2-1, just because I'm scared. Uh, I was thinking about fireballing that 2-3 and pinging a 2-1. Just anything oh, no, to no, stop no. damage. I think the, he, he We're took too close this to lineup lethal, that? To, to finish the game as okay. soon as possible. Yeah, just set Because you, otherwise you, you prefer to play Jog there. Mm -hmm. So he's like trying to draw lethal. That's it, I would say. Yeah, I, mean, I guess the reasoning is Shaman here is uh, 7 damage off lethal, drawing a card, and Shaman just can't draw 7 damage in one card unless it's got Ancestral Knowledge into 2 damage cards. Mm -hmm. And Ancestral Knowledge is not that popular in Aggro Shaman right now. It's actually very unpopular. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. And he has lethal with Thalnos, Fireball Ping, right? Well, yeah. Because it's 8 damage. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like that. That's I a like very calculated it. play yeah, by Hot like, Farm. Yeah, I like it. So the hero power we're looking for here is probably something defensive because we saw how aggressively hot formed hot formed pinged face instead of an abusive sergeant last turn. Yeah, so we that's know he's so lethal, scary. So, yeah, so something that gains life is the choice over something that doesn't gain life. There's no way it's not. Y you have to respect that play. But from maybe hot form. he doesn't have. Oh, he. Oh, we know he had uh, the rogue, warlock, and another one. I I forget to tell to everyone. I didn't see it. Uh, it see? was there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, rolling. <laughs> yeah, he's lost. Okay, hot form 3-0 with freeze mage, which the is tempo like... Tempo mage, yeah. Oh, t tempo mage, sorry. Uh, which is like usual for him to do it on ladder, uh, I could say. Mm -hmm. But impressive, like... Okay, you can beat the shaman because you are favored. And maybe druid because you had a good start, but also uh, zoo without flame strike. Right. I mean, it's fine. He uh, got lucky when he needed to, but there were a lot of uh, difficult decisions, and he navigated them very well. I, I want to ask him, why didn't he play... The Water Elemental, water in, turn elemental in turn 4. Hot yeah. Farm! Um, what about the play in turn 4, free, uh, Tempo Mage against Shaman, when you didn't play the, the Water Elemental? You played... Cold Sorcerer Arcane Blast? Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, makes sense. Thank you. Cool. So the idea is like the three two is hard to remove if he doesn't have lightning ball. Uh huh. And then even if he has lightning ball, you are in a good spot, you're in a good position. We're using the images before the Doom Hammer, sure. Yeah, I like it. It's fine. It's fine. So that's it. Salai. 3-1 for, for hot form. Yep, with the atypical lineup. It's nice to see the guy bringing something different and succeeding with it. Tempo Mage. Tempo Mage. Tempo Mage and probably Nazothro, right? It, it yeah. It had to be Nazoth at that yeah, point. Yeah, that's true. And what's the, and the last and one? Warlock that we don't know. And Warrior, it, it was banned. We assume Zoo and Dragon Warrior. It could be Cthune Warrior, who knows? Uh, I don't know about that much about hot form, but maybe the people who was watching his, his stream lately. Maybe uh, they can tell yeah, us. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to say. So, yeah, I think that's that's it for now. Um, I'm waiting for a confirmation, actually. But... Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, yeah, of course. We'll have another match in, you know, a few minutes.